This video is going to be an introduction to the two topics of accuracy and precision. Now, a lot of people often mix these two up, especially when they're talking, uh, but in the scientific community, whether it's for psychology, for medicine, for any sort of academic pursuit, it's important to know the difference. Um, both these terms, one thing to know about both these terms is that they're both relative rather than absolutes. So they're often used in comparison. Like, for example, one test is much more accurate than the other test, or one test is much more precise than the other test. It's very hard to have true accuracy or true precision or to prove either one, so that's why I say they're often used in a relative term. And that's, if that's a bit confusing, you'll see what I mean here in a little bit. So the first term, accuracy, is about how close we can get to the true target. So for this example, I'm gonna use a bullseye here. Let's say we're shooting arrows at this, at this uh, bullseye. Now, accuracy would be how close we can get to this point. Not necessarily how close our succeeding ones get, rather how close we get to this point. So let's say we shoot our first arrow, and it lands here. And our next arrow lands here, and our next arrow lands here. Now if we shoot arrows that land here, you can see that we're all kind of dancing around the same distance from this center point. These are all decently accurate. They're more accurate than a shot out here or a shot out here. These shots are more accurate than these shots because they're closer to our bullseye. Now keep that in mind when you look and you compare that with precision. Precision is how close a sequential or a following shot gets to the original shot. So on this bullseye, let's say that we shot our first arrow here. Not very accurate, right? Look how far away it is, especially compared to our last example. However, if our succeeding shots all land here, you notice that this tight grouping here is very precise compared to the other shots. that looked more like this or more spread out. These shots are not very precise, whereas these shots are very precise even though they're not accurate or even though they're a good distance away from the center of this bullseye. Let's use one final example here to show you what exactly what I mean. Let's say that there's a value of some chemical in your bloodstream that's 1.50. We know that to be the true accurate way, but we're looking at different tests that can tell us maybe more cheaply a good idea of what's going on in the blood. So let's say the true value is 1.5. Now let's look at this first test here. The first test has values of 1.616261. These test values here, they're all pretty similar, right? They're all around the 61 or 62 range, but they're not very accurate. They're not very close to the right true value. On this mini bullseye down here, that would be like our other example where it's a tight grouping but it's not very close to the accurate or the true value of 1.50. Let's look at this next one here, test two, 55456040. Now these are more accurate than these, right? They're all kind of, if you look at their average, they're all pretty right around the middle of that bullseye, but they're not precise. See how spaced out they are? They're not very close together, but if you average them all out, you get the correct true value. So they are accurate, but not precise. Test three, 50495150 on the bullseye is gonna look like a tight grouping around the bullseye. Thus, test three is the most accurate and it's the most precise. And that is a quick introduction to accuracy versus precision.